Ick is one of the most common diseases in fish keeping. It can be deadly if not treated automatically. Hi, I'm Michelle from Quebec Cyclidé, your local fish store in Terrebonne, Quebec, right outside of Montreal. Today, we will be looking at the symptoms, causes, and possible treatments for the ick. This is one of the most easily identifiable diseases. Your fish will look like they've been sprinkled with salt. At first though, other than that, they'll look healthy. They'll be eating, swimming around, but with time, they will also become lethargic. Their fins will crisp together. That happens once the disease starts to take its toll. A couple of months ago, one of my six foot tanks got the ick, so I was able to take this footage for you. Because I caught it early, the fish were treated and I had absolutely no casualties. Ick is a widespread disease. You might have some in your aquarium and not even know it. Lucky for us, our fish have a very good immune response to this illness, and you might never even see symptoms. Stress is the main factor in ick infestations, whether it be from their environment, from transportation, from aggressive tank mates, or just not remembering if they left the stove on before leaving the house. If they're stressed, their immune system weakens and they're more susceptible to getting ick infections. Now, I know I mentioned transportation, but if you acclimate your fish well in a low stress environment, there shouldn't be an infection. An easy way to get an ick infection is to buy a fish from a contaminated aquarium. Putting them in your aquarium will almost guarantee that you get white spot disease. If the tank where you bought your fish is okay, but the tank right next to it has white spot disease symptoms, beware. Most fish stores have aquarium systems that link all the aquariums together, meaning that they share the water. Now there's still a lot less chance that your fish will get sick, but you have to take this into consideration. This should go without saying, but always check your fish's health when buying it. Watch your fish swim. Is it active? In what conditions are its fins? Are there any dead fish in the tank? Look at all these things before buying a fish to make sure that you're getting a healthy one. Poor water conditions can be a cause to a white spot disease outbreak even if you did not add a new fish in the tank recently. First of all, you're gonna check for ammonia and nitrite. These should always be at zero. If they're above zero, that is toxic for your fish and that's probably the cause of the outbreak. If this happens, the probable cause is that your bacteria cycle in your filter is not complete. This is called the nitrogen cycle and one of my first videos is about this. So go check that one out after this video. For the water parameters, the second one, well, if you count ammonia and nitrate as one. The second one you're gonna check is nitrate. Nitrate is not toxic, but in high qualities, it can be. It's like too much of a good thing, but this isn't a good thing, it's a bad thing, and it's too much of it. So anything over 40 ppm can be the cause of your ick outbreak. If this is the case, you're gonna to need to do some water changes. If your nitrates are between 40 and 100 ppm, just one big water change at 33%, let's say one third of the aquarium on day one, and 10% every day for about a week, that should help get everything in check. If it's above 100 ppm, you're gonna have to be a little more uh, rigorous. Do a one third, one third is really the maximum that I am comfortable suggesting. Then you can do 25% water changes every day for a week. This should help get the nitrates back in check. To help with your water changes, go check it out after. I also have a video on how to make the water changes, making them easy and you don't even have to haul buckets around anymore. That's the old fashioned way, we don't do that. If you're fixing the water parameters now, that's great. But that is not the treatment. We are just fixing the problem at the source. The treatment, we're gonna see that later in the video. The leading cause of ick outbreaks is temperature and by temperature, I mean variations in the temperature. All freshwater aquariums should be equipped with an adequate water heater. Ideally, use a water heater on which you can adjust the water temperature. Most freshwater aquariums will thrive with a stable temperature of 77 degrees Fahrenheit. When the summer comes, it's hard to keep that temperature because it's pretty low and it can sometimes go up to 84 degrees Fahrenheit. If you're like me and you do not have an air conditioner in your home to reduce the heat, what you're gonna have to do is equalize the temperature that it is during the day. So adjust your water heater at 84 degrees Fahrenheit. This way, at night, when the temperature cools down, 
your water will not cool down. It's that temperature variation that usually causes the ick outbreak. It's important to note that ick is an extremely contagious disease. If one fish has it, probably all the other fish are going to get it very soon if you don't see symptoms yet. Putting the affected fish in a hospital tank is not always the best way to go. You're better off just treating the whole aquarium. It's a lot safer that way. So before talking about the treatment, I'm going to help you understand how we're going to treat it by explaining to you their cycle. So the ick is a protozoan meaning that it is a single cell organism. The first step of the cycle is the free swimming stage. The cell will swim freely, searching for a host to cling on. It has 48 hours to do so before it perishes. Once it has clinged on to its host, it will feed off its body fluids and its cells. What is outside of the fish will be protected by a thin white capsule, and that is what we see. At this point, we cannot treat it. It is well latched on. The next step in the cycle is when it punches out of the fish and falls to the bottom on the solid surface. It will create a cyst in which it will create a bunch of other cells. It will create thousands of cells and they will eventually burst out of that cyst and go back in the free swimming stage and then it starts all over again. At a regular temperature, about 77 Fahrenheit, the stage where the cell, the parasite, is on the fish lasts for many days. What we want to do is to speed that up so that it gets off the fish, because when it's on the fish, we cannot treat it. So we raise the temperature up to 84 degrees. This way, it'll speed up the cycle and the parasites will fall off the fish. At this temperature, they might fall off in a couple of hours instead of days. So you'll notice that your fish pretty much automatically feel a lot better because they don't have these parasites feeding off of their body fluids. But you have to treat this anyways. This is not the treatment, it's just the first step. After that, we are gonna have to use ick medications. They come in many shapes and sizes. Grab the one that's at your local fish store. The one I use is Noxic from Weco. The main ingredient is malachid green. Avoid putting blue methylene in your aquarium. This product can potentially kill off a lot of bacteria in your filter. And at this point, really, we need all that big bacteria in the filter for our fish. Another suggestion that I see often is adding salt to the water. This can help with tropical fish, but the thing is, they cannot live in salt water for a long time. Eventually, you're going to have to change all the water in that aquarium to bring it back to its regular hardness. It's a lot simpler just to use the treatment that once it's done, you barely even need a carbon to take it out. If you have African cichlids and you're adding salt, and if you've never added salt to African cichlids, well, that's probably your problem because African cichlids need a very high pH or water hardness. Just putting salt in your aquarium is a good step towards having the adequate water parameters for African cichlids, but it's not gonna cure them of the ick. All the ick medications on the market are targeted to attack the cell in its free swimming stage. This means you have to treat for at least three days minimum. It can go up to a week if it continues. It is not an invasive medication for the fish. If your fish look better after two days, it's not a reason to stop the medication. All your doctors will tell you this when you want to stop your antibiotics early. Don't do it. Same with these fish, but it's not antibiotics. Ick is not deadly if treated automatically, but this is not a reason not to take it seriously. If you do not take it seriously, the cells, they will feed off your fish and they will kill them within a couple of days. It's very hard to regain control on the aquarium once the fish have started to die. To prevent most fish illnesses, be regular in your aquarium maintenance, do your water changes weekly, and simply take some time every day to look at your fish. Make sure they are healthy and they are happy. So that's it for today. I hope you liked this video. Have you ever had white spot disease in your aquarium? Tell me about it in the comments section. If you liked what you see, click the subscribe button. There's new content being added every week. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and I have a great website where you can shop online and see all my fish. I ship throughout Canada. So thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.